Welcome to another edition of Draw With Me Kids. We're on episode 80, Remembrance Day. And today we're going to draw whatever we think of when we think of Remembrance Day. Well, that's weird. You just flipped my poppy. <laughs> Whether it's poppies or thank you cards, whatever happens to come to your mind. Join us in drawing something for Remembrance Day. Grab your pens, your pencils, your papers, and your erasers, and let's go! We did donuts last week. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna help Miss Rainbow set up Where's here. Where's the pen? Where's the pen? And I'll put that guy back here. I do my donut icing. Mm -hmm. It's a lovely donut. In this picture, I made it so that my mom could make it into a sticker. Mm -hmm. You and made the best pun, and I thought that was great. It's Donut Disturb. Donut Disturb. As you can see on this sleeping mask. That's and pretty this cool. One. This is also icing the Magic Donut Friend. And that's what he looks like. Yeah, we did your stuffy. Um, I'm going to borrow this here for a second. We did your stuffy. Um, and once again, of course, the camera decides I don't want to operate today. There it is. We're back with the camera. What's wrong with you, camera? Honestly. Um, there. Right, where were we at? We were talking about donuts. First off, we did donuts. And there's my donut. We drew Sophia's stuffy icing. It was a donut shaped stuffy. And then I drew these little guys and a little cat apple fritter. Because we learned apple fritter is one of the top. That's what I have donuts, for a snack right? today. Is that an apple fritter? No. Aero bars and Twix bars. Oh, you have some Halloween candy for a snack, and you didn't even share. <laughs> Hello! <I see. laughs> All right. And you're just going to open up your snack. Really? I can't believe you're doing this. Really? I okay. waited till we started. You didn't need to wait until <laughs> we started. So today we're going to do a few things. we got some <laughs> trivia questions about Remembrance Day. We're going to draw a few things that make us think of Remembrance Day. Last year we did a very detailed step-by-step um, -step on how to draw poppy flowers, right? Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. And so you might get to see some of that again this year while I draw my poppy because I think that's what I'm going to do. And Miss Rainbows, you said you had an idea for what you wanted to do. What do you want to do today? Well, I think we can turn it this way. What did I do? You're on Zoom. Why are you on Zoom? I don't know. So push the B button if you want your brush back. <laughs> this is one part Photoshop, one part chaos. So what I'm going to do to start off, like we did last year's, I've got a watercolor pencil and I'm going to do stuff in watercolor. I'm going to give myself a very loose circle to start my poppy. I don't know. If my I Twix see. bar won't open. That's probably just as well. Why don't you uh, focus on your drawing? Hmm. So your friends are here to see. Yep. I have scissors around, so this whole... Oh, do I get part of... Oh, it's too small to ask for part of a Twix bar. I won't ask for part of a Twix bar. That's not very nice. I might use my pencil a little bit here too. I draw a circle in the middle so it sort of looks a bit like a big egg. And I'll show you why I'm doing that. <laughs> it's because I want to do a bit more of an even, and this is sort of how we did it last year, um, loosely symmetrical poppy, like what we wear, which mine of course is falling off, like we wear. Remembrance Day. I don't know if you guys so you can see that. So it's sort of what we're doing. So I did a circle that helped me get my quadrants for it. 
and then I'm making the curve to connect it and curve to connect it. That's why I'm working really light because I can't really erase watercolor pencil. It's only going to be part of what I'm working with. Not How do I coffee. make it bigger? How do you make what bigger? My heart. Well, are you on the layer that it's on? Yeah. Uh, then you can click uh, this to move it around. I need to transform it. Uh, you have to click on the keyboard, Control T, to transform. And then now you can move the bounding boxes. This rainbow's is Photoshop learning. lesson. Learning Photoshop. And as you can see on our poppy, our plastic poppies, if you've got plastic poppies for your jackets, um, there's three lines there. Mm -hmm. Mine is plastic and felt. Plastic, well, they're, they're sort of a fuzzy plastic, aren't they? Yeah. Sort of a fuzzy plastic, aren't they? So there is my center, and I'm going to do the little black center part, but I am old enough to remember when they had poppies that had the centerpiece as green. So I'm going to do a green one. Might not be quite as, um, how many is there in that one? Two, four, six, eight. So two on each thing. Two bumps on each thing. Just like that. And I guess now, to, now is a good time to start our trivia, what do you think? Yeah. You ready for some trivia? Miss Rainbows is not aware of what the trivia is. Um, my little poppy looks a little rough, by the way. She's ha she has tea. I'm drinking tea. <laughs> Shh, don't tell all my secrets. <laughs> I know that you like tea. Uh, I think pretty much everybody knows that I like tea. By now, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I sometimes do art sessions when Miss Rainbow is not at home, and she's at school. We do some painting sessions for other people to watch, and I drink my tea at the same time. I got my water. See, there's my water. And we'll start this off. I'm going to do wet and I thought and you wet. meant to drink, and then I realized, no, you're doing the water. Oh, you. I don't want to be drinking that. Yes, I have seen a real poppy. My mom grows real poppies in their gardens. And uh, I actually have a coloring sheet that I did last year, which was about a field of poppies and how to do, oops, how to do real poppies. I can add one too if you're curious to do a real poppy because they're super cool too. I think poppies are really neat flowers. And the real middle of a poppy is indeed a brown or a uh, black sort of center piece, which is something that I like. So I'm just going to do wet. These are real poppies. I'm showing some real poppies. Okay, so here's the trivia question for the day. Yeah. Poppies, yeah, poppies can be the size of somebody's face. They can be really big. I know, I've seen one that's that big. It's They're real pretty. Um, uh, first question. So we all know that uh, Remembrance Day is on the 11th. And usually, if we're having a Remembrance Day ceremony at school, if you guys have Remembrance Day ceremonies at school, they're held at, well, earlier in, the, earlier in the morning, usually around 11 o'clock. Why is the number 11 so important to Remembrance Day? Oh, I know this one, but I haven't, I haven't heard of the trivia, but I know this one. Why is the number 11 so important on, on Remembrance Day? Mm -hmm. Is it because A, the war ended? at that time, on that day, in that month, on the 11th month, 11th day, 11th hour? Is it because 
That is the number in thousands of people that died as soldiers. Or is it because it was the only date all the countries could agree upon? My answer um, is uh, because it's the 11th day in, on the 11th hour of the 11th month. If you have an answer, like Miss Rainbows has an answer, you can add that in the comments. You think it's A, the 11th hour, the 11th day, the 11th month. B, because that's when the war ended. C, because that's how many people in the thousands that died in the First World War. Or C, it was the only date that everyone could agree upon. And a big shout out to CBC Kids, the trivia, some of the trivia questions, uh, veteranscanada.gc.ca for some of the questions. I like this red. It's probably not the right red. It should be more fire engine-y. <laughs> Maybe I'll put some more of that in there, a little fire engine-y. Okay, hopefully it won't flash super. Like a lot. I just made my picture of my poppy a little bit wet. And I'm adding the colors into the wet just to let them drift on their own. What are some other ways you guys made poppies in school, Miss Rainbows? We used tissue paper. Tissue paper? That's and fun, um, right? we had I, uh, uh, thicker kind of paper yeah. that was a stencil that was cut out uh, into the shape of a poppy, and we traced six of them onto uh, six or f five or six of them onto a page okay. of tissue paper and cut them out. So you you had a stencil to get the shape right, and then you yeah. cut them out and then put the tissue paper. That's kind of cool. Are you guys doing that this year? Did you make any poppy stuff this year? Yeah. That's what I'm That's explaining. exactly what you did this year? Yeah. Oh, cool. I'm <laughs> sorry. It's, I remember some of the stuff that you guys did in the past, too, which is very, very pretty. I like how fire engine red and everything's mixed up here. Cutting tissue paper is incredibly hard. It really is because it's so light. Yeah. And if you're using uh, safety scissors, because that's usually what you use in school, sometimes you have sharper stuff, but if you're using safety scissors, it can actually tear the paper more than it can actually cut. And sometimes that can be frustrating. I find that frustrating sometimes. Um, Not a lot of people this year had that problem, okay. but there was still like, a few people that had that problem. This is my color chart, so if I'm picking another color, I'm gonna decide what one I'm gonna yes, pick. Yes, it was cooler. Well, I can't wait to see what the result is, guys, because I love, I love seeing it. Have we had our two minutes? Do you think we've had two minutes since I asked the question? Yep. So our trivia question to remind you is, what is the significance of 11? Why do we celebrate on the 11th of November at 11 a.m.? It is indeed because the treaty that ended the war in 1918 was signed on the 11th hour of the 11th day, of the 11th month. And that was in 1918. I think I said that. Yeah, someone used, like a geometry set ruler to cut it. Yeah, that was one of my favorite things hey, to that's see. that's what I love about art is using different materials to get something pretty or something different. Just to express yourself, create your thing. But I'm working in watercolor today, which is unusual for me. Well, not unusual, unusual. I work in watercolor a lot. But on the show, I don't normally use watercolor. Unless it's a special day where we're using it. 
because really the trouble with using watercolor on a show like this is that um, it doesn't dry quickly and I can't get back to I can't get the uh, detail work in I want to do so it's fine I'll do some of that later as I'm doing a little green yes it was yeah that's who used it. I take it that one of our guests here is somebody from your class. Actually, I do know who it is from your class. But yeah. we don't, we don't shout, we'll, we'll shout, hey T. And that's about all the info we'll give you. Right? I'm sure you guys did your netiquette test. I know you did, cause yeah. I got one <laughs> from Ms. Rainbows. Just today. Just today. One of the cool things I like about watercolor pencil is if you just get them a little bit wet, you get a really nice thick line. And it goes on very smooth. I think that it's bleeding into. This is part of why I'm like, eh. <laughs> I need to let it dry before. 100%. So did somebody else here. The 100% yep. club. Good job. All right, so next question. Um, we know November 11th as Remembrance Day, but what of the following three choices are actually other names that other countries use? or used in the past. A, Armatus Day. B, Veterans Day. Or C, Fallen Warriors Day. What are other names for Remembrance Day? I think it's Veterans Day. I think it might be Veterans Day. There is one that is incorrect. Oh. As the clue. <laughs> so I choose the one that's incorrect? Uh, I didn't say you did. No. But do I choose that as uh, the You tell me the two that are correct. And if you only choose one, like you just said Veterans Day, and it's right, then I will give you a point either way. And I think Not it's... Not that we're counting. I think it's um, Veterans Day and... Bring some of that Armistice Day. Armistice Day? Armistice yeah. Day? I can't even say that now. <laughs> we got a B. We got a B. Which was Veterans Day. Mm -hmm. okay, so it just sort of. Blood into there, so it kind of makes me a little sad. Makes me a little sad. Because red and green together make this brown, which you probably see, which actually I might be able to make work for shadow. Mix red and brown, or red and green together, you get brown. The other choice, uh, other choices A is Armistice Day. B, Veterans Day, or C, Fallen Warrior Day? T says B and C. B and C, huh, huh, and you say, you said A and B, right? Or A yeah. and B, yeah. Okay, okay. We've got other viewers too, maybe they have some thoughts on it. I think I'm going to put, I 
touch of purple in there just to get some. No, it sounds weird. Why would I use purple? Let's put a little bit of shadow in there. Do I have purple in here? Maybe I do. Yes, I do. So if you can see that, that this is my favorite purple in the whole world called Shadow Violet. It doesn't really look very purpley because it's so dark. but it has a nice shiny texture to it and it goes really well with uh, warm colors. And theoretically I should have put this on first, but I didn't. All right, well I guess you guys want the answer, don't you? Yep. The original name for Remembrance Day was Armistice Day, which is still <laughs> used in some countries. Thanks, T. And in the United States, they changed it to Veterans Day instead of Remembrance Day. And Fallen Heroes or Fallen Warriors Day is a completely different day altogether. She's done a really nice job. She's added some really cool um, vine details, which I really like. Uh, little hearts in the graveyard there. Heart, big heart. That's really nice. It's really heart heartfelt. Didn't mean to make that a pun. Besides Canada, and I just named at least one other country, Besides Canada, how many other countries in the world celebrate Remembrance Day or the end of the First World War on November 11th? Is it 25, 45, or 55? Give or take one or two. 25, 45, or 55. You're inspiring me to do some, uh, to do some vining detail too, bud. <laughs> I like it. I don't know how, but it doesn't really go with poppies. Poppies are much more, um, like they have much more wispy sort of I like how pretty yours looks. So I think I am going to uh, try that too, if you don't mind. Thanks for the wonderful idea, Miss Rainbows. <laughs> we usually awesome. inspire each other for a bit, don't we? Oh, T says 25. 25. That's a really good guess. I like 25. What do you guess, Miss Rainbows? I'm going to say 25, too, but it feels like it's too little, but I think it might be 25. Because I always feel like things are too little <laughs> when, the right, when it's the right answer. Well, we tried to give about two minutes for everybody to think and respond. Yeah, I liked your... Uh, We totally encourage you guys to borrow ideas that you see us do, copy what we're doing. It's fine. Be inspired. Yeah. Anything you want. Sometimes we do a whole show where we do really detailed step by step on how to draw things, and then other times we're like doing a show like today where we're just making our own thing. We're doing our own thing. I think Miss Rainbows did such a good job of the finds. I can't possibly <laughs> get similar. But, all right. I think we're ready for the answer. <laughs> Are you ready for the answer? Yeah. All right. The answer is 
55. Wow. It's every Commonwealth state, every state in the Commonwealth, every country in the Commonwealth, including the UK, um, Canada, which is part of the Commonwealth, is 54 countries, plus at least, so it might be more than 55, but it is at least 55. France, which is not part of the Commonwealth, Poland, celebrated as well on November 11th. Other countries have other occasions where they celebrate or honor. Honor is probably better. Commemorate or honor. Um, their soldiers and uh, the sacrifices made during the First and Second World War, like New Zealand has Anzac Day, which I think is in April, and uh, Australia has a uh, has a different day as well. So different places do celebrate on different days, but lots and lots of countries have adopted the 11th of November as well. And part of what I'm doing, if you want some watercolor techniques, tips here is I'm starting close to the poppy with my initial color. I want the darker color to appear under the poppy so it sort of gives it that shadow look and the lighter I go out and the less paint I have on my brush helps to give that illusion of not being under the poppy not shaded by the poppy I may have gone overboard with with vines I love vines I love adding vines to lots of pictures that I do I'm going to do one more in this corner just because it seems like it's that's where that's going to go. Okay. Bye, T. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> well, we're still going. We're still going to paint. We always like to say goodbye to friends when they're getting ready to go. Especially the ones that have been chatting with us in the chat. And ones that Sophie Miss Rainbows knows in person, I'm sure. Hmm. Yep. We've been lucky. We've had lots of friends who like to join us, eh? Mm -hmm. From J and E to L and E and... Oh, um? of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't shown Miss Rainbows the uh, current video yet. <laughs> I won't see it. Oh, see? She looks forward to it every week. And I'll just do more because I like doing more. You know what's another fun fact that I didn't put into the trivia today that I discovered? Huh? In the UK, they have uh, purple poppies. Oh. And not because that's for necessarily soldiers' memories, but for the animals that served during the First Second World Wars. So what is Remembrance Day to you, Miss Rainbow? It's a day to remember the people um, that uh, protected the country. Um, and it's a day for everyone to remember what they did to help. Yeah, I, I think that's a great reason for a remembrance day. It's a great, great thing to do. For me, Remembrance Day is, I uh, heard lots of stories about uh, my grandpa, who 
served in the Second World War, and my great uncles from my grandmother who served in the First World War. Um, and then uh, even your grandpa, who was a peacekeeper in Cyprus, and sort of all their stories of the people that they lost, um, or people that they met and uh, on the jury. And then, of course, my friends who went over to Afghanistan, and some of them had friends that didn't come home. So that's sort of what I like to think about on Remembrance Day. So I don't know, we got like poppies and, and um, wreaths that we do. So we sort of remember the people behind why we're, we're uh, having this moment and try to remember that Remembrance Day is sort of trying to remind you that um, not to let things get to the two wars that were supposed to be the wars that ended all wars. I mean, you have one and then shortly after there's another one and we still have wars going on still have situations people are in trouble in and we've got men and women who are willing to help out in those situations that's remembrance day for me mm. not that I want to make it too too heavy here but These are a very easy thing to draw, though, which is why I'm drawing one. There's my poppy. I love that you inspired me to do vines, because I love vines. Vines are fun. I'm doing the last little details here. I love that you're so intense, in, intent, intense, intent. You're so much into your project right now that your head's down. You're like, yeah. <coughs> I'm just going all out with the green. I may be overdone. The green. No. Oh, we're done. The green. <laughs> That's beautiful. Well done, bunny. Oh, you're going to go for a little bit more to color in that heart. And then the background. I'm going to put my poppy back on. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're doing a nice blue background? No, he said no. No. No, it's too late of a blue. Darker blue. Darker blue. Well done. Good choice. I was going to give you guys the... Uh, close up of Miss Rainbows, but oh, I gotta be careful. <laughs> I lifted that up and realized I still have a wet spot on the thing. Not to so it doesn't drip. It sort of what it looks like more, I guess the angle is sort of like that. Hard to tell. Maybe I need to do a brown or something as my nah, purple wasn't such a bad idea. Except what is this purple doing? I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
need to let it uh, breathe just a bit because I have got this paper soaked. This is a brighter purple than I put on before, so it should be nice. All right. I think I'm done. Are you done? She's not quite done. She's not quite done. This one's a little bit bright, so I'm about that. Yeah. <laughs> Once it dries, I might use my little Posca pens to help out with it. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to put a little bit of extra, extra, or if it's fine just the way it is. It'll be fine just the way it is. I'm just letting Miss Rainbows do her thing right now. She's enjoying and she's... making a very nice thank you card. Very pretty. Wow, look at all that blue swirl behind. That's pretty. Can I go? Can I do a close up for you? Okay, so. Ah! Trying not to kick over my camera and give everybody vertigo. I don't even know where this is. Cintiq view. There you go. That's beautiful. Look at all the detail. Quite nice. I like when I see some nice, pretty art from you. It's from the heart. Thanks for watching Joel Me Kids Edition episode 80 Poppies and Remembrance Day. We hope you had fun doing the drawing with us. Mm -hmm. And if you enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe, Hit the notifications bell and share the video with all your friends. That way, nobody misses Shop Me Kids Edition ever again. That would be great. <laughs> we hope you had fun drawing your poppies with us, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.